This the house is on fire, Ray. This is it. This the whole side where the garage is going into the second part of the house where we was watching the draft. Kind of during the time of it, you know, during the draft, so it was just a lot of um, emotions in that point, you know, as far as being like excitement, you know, good vibes, good feelings, go towards like desperation and devastation. We just went into survival mode because the fire was coming and it was coming fast. They can't stop it. Now they got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fire trucks. They can't stop it. I did have a meltdown. I was like, I've been here 20 years. My house is burning down. Emotionally dealing with the fire thing, emotionally dealing with still haven't got drafted yet, so it's frustrating. Eddie Goldman, nose tackle, Florida State. Jordan Phillips, defensive tackle, Oklahoma. So second round go by, didn't get drafted, watching on the NFL draft ticker. You know, in a way I'm getting past the third round, so it's like it's coming sometime soon. So, I mean, it's getting going and going and going. The Baltimore Ravens select Carl Davis, defensive tackle, Iowa. Xavier Cooper, defensive tackle, Washington State. He very seldom loses it. He threw his phone on the ground. I was like, okay. In a span of like hours, like things go from, you know, high, high, and like hopeful and exciting and this and that, and to like, you know, what is going on, you know? Of course that night we sat out in front of the house <laughs> till about four o'clock in the morning in our lawn chairs. And then the next day we um, went to watch the remaining parts of the draft at my niece's house. Well, they've got another pick in the fourth round. Is there anybody Fourth round going. Seeing some more tackles like go ahead of me, you know. The Tennessee Titans select Angelo Blackson, defensive tackle from Auburn. And now I'm like at this point where it's like, you know what? I'm not about to get drafted. By this time, I'm laid out on the floor like, just like, arms spread like eagle, like, Tears going down my face. Now we're getting to the end of the fourth round. And so I thought to myself, then this is probably going to be it. So fifth round come around, phone ring. And he's, you know, rubbing his head like he does when he gets nervous or whatever. And so hey man, we just traded up to get you. And um, you know, super excited to have you, this, this and that. And you know, while I'm on the phone, everybody around me, they don't know who I got the call from. So he gets off the phone and he says, um, yeah, well, we're going to Atlanta. The top of round number five, Grady Jarrett, a defensive tackle out of Clemson, Charles. I'll, I'll be frank, this is about four rounds lower than, I mean, than, uh, three rounds lower than I thought he would be going. The good news is that everyone is safe. There were no injuries. The bad news is the room that completely burned up contained all of Jarrett's memorabilia, all of his trophies, so all of those are now gone. We're going through a lot of, you know, misfortune right now. I mean, we had a big accident last night during the drafts. My house, part of my house caught fire, man. It's just really a unfortunate situation. And then with this election today, man, it's, it's, it's just perfect. It's perfect, and it lifted my family's spirits. And uh, I'm just really, really looking forward to being the office. Grady Jarrett bursts through the middle, trying to block Jarrett one-on-one. -on -one. You're not going to get that done. He has always had to fight, per se, to get what he wanted. So absolutely, did he have a chip on his shoulder? Absolutely. Caffrey in the backfield, Newton wants to throw! Grady Jarrett blasted it. We lost a lot, but I mean, we also gained a lot too, you know. For me, and it also keeps me grounded because I never had an ego, but I could feel, I don't know, my self-prowess almost start to elevate a little bit before the draft, and it brought me all the way back real fast. Is, you know, is this moment going to define you, you know? And you know, I just keep going back to saying, like, it can all be going so fast, so why not make the most of, you know, every day, every moment? Why not try to give your best or your all? Because it don't last forever. So that'd be 
my way of fighting a fire, if you want to say that.